So we're in the kitchen again, and we're gonna be doing another paddle review. This time it is the 16 millimeter Frank Franklin Dynasty 16 FS Tour. Now this is actually one of the very first pickleball paddles, one of the more expensive ones that I've purchased before. I have bought uh, cheaper paddles, um, I picked this one up at this store before I knew too much about pickleball paddles. And after I've binge watched so many videos uh, and watched so many other people at the courts, um, I decided this one probably wasn't for me specifically. I do know that this one could be good for a lot of other guys, especially um, if you're bigger. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that this paddle actually weighs a ton. Um, this is probably one of the heaviest paddles that I own. Um, one of the heaviest paddles that I actually have seen when I go do uh, open play out at the courts near me. Um, but with that said, it's still going to have everything that you probably want or need in a paddle. I would say this is a more of a power paddle, but it does lean more towards all court play. It has a pretty generous sweet spot. We have T700 carbon fiber. We have a pretty long handle here. All right, so a lot of things that I liked about this paddle, I did like the generous length of the handle here. And if you check this out, we have actually a very premium uh, handle. Like this actually reminds me of a tennis racket the type of handle, the grip, all of that. It, it's super comfortable and really, really reminds me of uh, one of the tennis rackets I used to use uh, many moons ago when I did play tennis. But like I said, one of the biggest downfalls, at least specifically for me, was the weight of this thing. But yeah, like I said, one of the biggest downfalls on this is the weight of this. Um, we have the bread and butter, which has been my go-to uh, paddle for uh, over a month now almost and as you can see like I have weights on this I have even like we only have five but we have five uh, lead weights on this lead tape weights and I even re-gripped this with a uh, hesacor grip and the the Franklin paddle actually still weighs more than this bread and butter paddle with these modifications so that's just gonna let you know how much this thing weighs. As far as being able to generate spin, being able to generate power, being able uh, to have good pop, it has all of that. And I have a feeling it probably ranks pretty well if you're going to watch anybody who does more, um, really much more drill down um, reviews on these paddles. I just go by feel. Um, I played okay with this thing, actually. I did pretty good. Uh, in my opinion, especially for a beginner, not knowing what they're doing and getting one of these paddles. So if you're wanting something that can generate good power and you don't mind something that weighs um, as much as this thing does, I would definitely check this one out. So we have my shipping scale. Remember, there's no modification, no lead weights, nothing on here. And this is just kind of a quick reference to the one I got. You can see this weighs nine ounces, and that's without any weights, without a special grip, without anything on it. So you can see what I mean by this thing weighs quite a bit. So if you're someone who probably works out a little bit more than me, you can handle this weight. Maybe you're wanting more power. and Maybe you don't go up to the net as much which I would definitely think that you should, but uh, you know, you're not gonna be as fast just because of the weight of this thing. And that was why I decided to upgrade and change to a different paddle. Uh, but as, as far as the sizing goes on this, I just wanna do really quick. Um, we have the official specs, but you can see right here. Ah. So we have the official specs, and then we have what my measuring tape says right there. And then you have the official specs, and then we're gonna have what my measuring tape says on, um, you know, handle, circumference. And then obviously it depends on where you're gonna wanna measure uh, this from, but you know, you have what mine says on handle length as well. but. Honestly, I think this was a great paddle. It just weighs too much for me. Um, you can actually get this in a lot of different colors. Um, I believe they have like three or four um, colors that you can get and not just gray. 
which I thought was pretty cool. This also comes in 14 millimeter, not just 16 millimeter. Uh, and you know, that T700 carbon fiber on the end here, you're gonna get good power, good pop, good spin, all of that stuff with this paddle. I just wanted to move on. Uh, I, I know I keep emphasizing this, it's just because you already saw on the scale, this thing does weigh a lot. Um, I'm probably going to start, I don't know if I'm going to start uh, hanging up paddles because I, I plan on doing more paddle reviews and, you know, maybe, you know, if anyone wants to send me some free paddles for me to do reviews on, Hey, uh, I would love that. Uh, and I'll probably start displaying them on the background, but I like doing these in the kitchen. We're in the kitchen doing paddle reviews. Haha. <laughs> if you get the references, then you pickleball. So there we guys go. Definitely a good paddle. Just... I mean, this thing's going to shoot rockets at people. You're going to be able to hit it really hard with this. You're going to be able to smash the ball, kill the ball. But just know you are going to be getting a big boy. Sorry, guys. Almost forgot to do the bounce test so you can hear the sweet spot.